guys, it's Melanie. I'm back with uh, another video. <laughs> I bought some stuff from Ulta. I told myself to stop and apparently I couldn't. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for lighting now. I use natural lighting to film and it's been raining every day. Every day. So I just had to give up and film. So I'm sorry if it gets lighter and darker. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. But anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into this box and see what's going on in here. I've been holding out opening it so I could share it with you guys. Nicely packaged. Apparently, I was in the lip mood. Shipping pack. My packing list. What's in my house? Magazine with a coupon on the back, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into what I bought. Because that's why we're all here. So I bought the Essence Pure Nude Be My Highlight. Oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, and it looks good for my almost all the time fair skin, unless I am self tanning. And I got the Elf Illuminating Palette. I've heard wonderful things about it. Keep in mind, if I don't like any of these products, I don't usually return them. I have... Sorry, you can see my sneakers. Um, if I don't use these products, I will usually pass them down to my daughters. Alright, let's see. Seem a little chalky, this pink one. But then I got the NYX HD concealer. I got mine in 03. CW03. I'm gonna open this and swatch it right now. Um, I've heard great things. I heard it's a lot like the is it the Urban Decay? Anyway, I can't wait to try this because I'm currently using a Maybelline. Is it Maybelline Fit Me? I think I, Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and it's still it looks probably alright from way back here, but when I get up close, it it's a cre creasy mess. Then I got the Essence Make Me Brow. I've heard really good things about this. I got this in Blondie Brows. Then I got another Essence product, number 11, lipstick. Oh yes, pretty, pretty, pretty. got two of the NYX liquid suede. I heard these are comparable to the Kat Von D uh, locket lippies. So this is Life's a Beach tea and cookies. So the top one is tea and cookies and the lower one is life's a beach. <sighs> I definitely like the top one. The bottom one might be scaring me. Maybe not. What do you guys think of these colors on me? Am I too pale to pull it off? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. So, there again, this is Life's a Beach, and this is Tea and Cookies. Let me know if you think they're good colors for me down below in the comments. And then, of course, what is this? Oh, they sent me some, I asked for the perfume sampler, but they usually just send me whatever they want. So, I got the Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... I would love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, come back to visit, check out what else I got to share with you guys. Um, any of you guys use this Essence highlighter? If so, what do you think? Is it worth it? Because I felt like for the price point, it was a super good deal. It feels really nice when I swatch it. Of course, I haven't used it. Alright guys, let's try these. So this is the NYX Liquid Suede in Tea and Cookies. 
That is a big long applicator. Sorry, I'm using the viewfinder. Feels nice. Okay, so this is tea and cookies. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let's try to wipe this off, try the next one. And this will be the NYX Liquid Suede in Life's a Beach. Let me use the viewfinder again so it'll probably make some horrible faces. Okay, so this is Life's a Beach. Let me know what you think of this color on me down below in the comments. I don't know if I really like this color. It scares me. Maybe if I had self-tanned, I might like a little bit of bird. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. Bye. And thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.